Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Sunday, December 29th, around 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. It was only a matter of time, an X-flare facing directly at Earth, but no CME headed our way from the X-flare, but it was an X1.1 earlier today. We do have a partial halo CME and a strong geomagnetic storm watch care to several M flares from active region 3939. And that means a G3 geomagnetic storm watch for New Year's Eve. And that means we could have some fireworks uh, in the sense of Aurora. So check that out and keep calm. It's boom time. A strong cold front will drastically drop Texas temperatures this week and an Arctic blast is coming for the central U.S. and the East Coast, freezing temperatures all the way into Florida by mid-January. And one more round of valley rain and mountain snow for the West before the new year. Take a look at the snowfall analysis over the last 72 hours. The only snow to fall in North America is in the West here. And it has fallen in abundance, many areas over four, five, and six feet of snow in these darker regions. And if we just look at the last 24 hours, the snow continues day after day. It's official, two are dead in the Texas tornadoes and storms in Mississippi. A, a tornado touched down in Brazoria County, Texas, struck some homes and other structures on Saturday, according to authorities. It was a day of tornado warnings in Texas, Louisiana and Mississippi, and two people were killed and several others injured after a tornado touched down in southeastern Texas and severe storm struck Mississippi on Saturday. Thoughts and prayers go out to those. We do have power outages widespread in the path of the storm. Good news is that they're at very low numbers. And there's the cold front. That's January 6th. You can see half the state of Texas will be below freezing. And if we just move this through, it's going to be a chilly January based on these numbers. Uh, and if we move it into mid-January, you could see the iguana apocalypse developing here. As that freeze line goes all the way down, take a look at there. Holy macaroni. Iguana, anyone? And when it's that cold, it means any storm systems that come through are going to fall as snow. And the GFS model showing... Heavy snow for the East Coast through the cold wave and maybe even a big snow event for the center of the U.S. Let's walk it through. Here is Sunday and into Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, and then next weekend here, 4th, 5th, and the 6th, we could be seeing a big event for the central U.S., Maybe the Southern Appalachians as well. The model all the way through shows snow for almost all 49 states here. And here's the full forecast. Severe weather and heavy rainfall across the east. Active pattern continues in the northwest. Severe thunderstorms and periods of heavy to excessive rainfall will shift into parts of the central southern Appalachians, mid-Atlantic, and southeast today. An atmospheric river will continue to impact the western U.S. today with periods of strong to damaging winds, high surf, heavy lower elevation rain, and heavy mountain snow. Winter storm watches and warnings up for looks like about a dozen states here. Click on your county for more information. And it looks like we have some red flag warnings as well. So make sure you keep your cigarette butts inside the vehicles. Seismic update. Bunch of interesting uh, rumblers today. A 5.1 in Ethiopia. Uh, 3.7 in Boniface, Canada. Or is that Boniface? But overall, low-level activity worldwide. Except... For the Reykjanes Ridge, this is offshore of the peninsula. Here's where the eruptions have been going on, near Grindavik Town. This is offshore where there is a known underwater volcano that may be getting a little active there. Massive seismic swarm over the last 24 hours. Let's refresh it. It appears to be coming to an end, which is good news for Icelanders. Worldwide Volcano News. 
I'll just touch on a few volcanoes today. Pretty normal activity worldwide. Liwatobi, Laki Laki. Vigorous eruptions continue there and a great picture. We also have a new volcano on the list to hit a new warning here. Where is it? There. Fantale volcano in Ethiopia. Earthquakes intensify, increasing risk of volcanic eruption. And I wonder if that's what we're seeing here. There, a 5.1 in Ethiopia, and that could be the marker there for the uptick. Uh, and Kilauea continues to erupt. So the big story is the space weather and the 24-hour uptick we see right here. We have a G3 geomagnetic storm wash for New Year's Eve, and the KP has been quite low for days. So that is going to change rapidly, and that is care, care to several M flares um, coming out from active region 3939. Let me show you where that is, and then we'll go over the models. Here is 3939. So two flares back-to-back -back popped off. And on ISWA, it shows just one big boom headed our way. But on the updated WSA Endless Spiral, at the very beginning here, you could see those two M flares. One, two, boom, boom. And they cannibalize each other creating an even faster and thicker wave that will all hit at once midday on the 31st, according to this model. So buckle up, could be an interesting aurora-filled new year. G3 geomagnetic storms typically do not cause any type of um, disruptions in technology, let's say. But we'll wait and see because we are living in a magnetic excursion and the field is weakening. The oldest complete mammal fossil of a crazy beast with teeth from outer space found and it baffles scientists. That's just a stupid headline. It does not bas baffle scientists. They know exactly what this is. It's the oldest complete mammal fossil from the southern hemisphere um, and it, this opossum-sized mammal is from Madagascar, part of the Gondwana supercontinent herd. It was alive towards the end of the dinosaur age. And there you could see the ancient crazy beast. And he's not from outer space, from Earth. <laughs> Did you hear the news? New York is going to charge fossil fuel companies for damage from climate change. We live in a clown world. Large fossil fuel companies would have to pay fees to help New York fight the effects of climate change under a bill signed by Democrat Governor Kathy Hochul, the governor. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share the video, hit the thumbs up, it's free. It helps with the Al Gore rhythm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Almost half that are watching are unsubscribed. We would appreciate it. Trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.